Hey, and welcome to Brickstar Toys. In this video, we're going to be looking at one of my new toys, an Audio Technica fully automatic belt drive turntable. The belt drives are cheaper. I already have a, a cheap turntable that I use to play for our records, uh, but it didn't have any way to easily convert it to MP3 if I wanted to put some of my obscure records that I have on um, mp3 my daughter is actually even using <laughs> uh, that turntable she actually has it in her room now that's our Evna she's done a couple of videos over there some of her uh, vinyls that she likes but anyway let's get right to it I'm gonna open this up and see if it's easy for me to set up so this got some of the best reviews there was actually a cheaper option on Amazon but this got some of the best uh, reviews of others so I decided to go with this one even though it was a little bit more it was around a hundred dollars all right so there's the software for recording I don't know if there's other options uh, I will say that the packing was horrible with um, Amazon it was in a bigger box and it just had a um, just uh, one little piece of paper in there, so it got shook around and comes complete with hair. That is not my hair, so I wonder if this is refurbished. Yeah. So that's what it looks like. All right, I'm going to look at the directions. All right, the instructions say to hold both ends of the red tape on the turntable belt. There is no red tape on the turntable belt. So somehow I got to get that over this little piece here. Oh, dummy. There's the red ribbon. <laughs> That's what you were supposed to use to pull the belt on. Plug it in. Looks like the phono cables are permanently attached, and then you got the USB, which is what I'm going to be using right here. All right, we got the um, USB cable hooked up. You also get these other phono cables uh, to convert it back to RCA or something. I'm going to see if this thing works. We're going to put our record on there. See if I can figure this out. Uh, the idiot that turned this up forgot to disconnect the <laughs> tie wrap that's protecting the arm. Let me do that. All right, we're recording a record. It's a little confusing at first with the software because I'm using Windows and it doesn't match everything. But allegedly, you start that, you hit the record, or actually, you hit the record button, then you start that and then you stop it when you're done and we'll see uh, if this actually works um, I wish you could hear it while you're playing I've got it set for my computer speakers to be the output but it's not working I will keep messing with it alright I figured it out you have to set your 
speakers that you have as the default when you plug this in the computer wants to set this device as the speakers so you set your speakers as the default it's actually in the instructions and then you can hear it I did record my first track on this album actually it's a second track or is it the first track it's the first track <laughs> And so it recorded it in .wave. You're not able to save it in .mp3. It wants you to download another file. When you go to the website, the file doesn't exist. Uh, it's called Lame, which is lame. But uh, I played the wave. It sounded good to me. But um, let you be the judge of that. And thanks for watching this video. So I mess with this. I'm going to try putting this on my Mac. I'm not an expert on these things, but I was able, within a matter of a few minutes and hardly reading the directions able to put this thing together and record a track from a vinyl so that's a big thumbs up give this video a thumbs up thanks for watching Bricks Art Toys his black shoe off. And he said to himself, this has to be the blackest shoe in the world. And he took his white sock off. And he said to himself, this has to be the whitest sock in the world.